Hey guys, it's Brittany and today I have a makeup tutorial for you guys. So in my recent videos, I did a, it's kind of like a copper cut crease with a pop of green in my waterline and a lot of you guys really like that look and some people requested that I do a makeup tutorial for you guys. So I definitely wanted to do that. I want to do more makeup tutorials over the next month just to get my skills up and just to have fun and play around so if you have any ideas of different makeup looks that you would like to see please let me know i've already done my eyebrows off camera i think i'm gonna put up a separate eyebrow tutorial for you guys just so this video won't be as long but um i'll put the information of what i use for my eyebrows in the description box for you guys I have already primed my face with the NYX Angel Veil Primer here, and I do have oily skin. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna take LA Girl Pro Conceal in color Warm Honey, and I'm gonna put that on my lids as a base. I'm gonna take this brush from Pure Cosmetics, it's like a, a flat brush, and I'm just gonna blend that out. If you guys are wondering what wig I have on, I have on uh, a wig I've had for two years actually. This is the BS202 and like that SR4 something color, so it's like a coppery color. And it looks pretty good still. The ends are a little bit ratty, but I still think it looks good. I'm going to set my lids with the Sastra Buttercup Setting Powder. I'm going to use the opposite end of that same brush just to put it on there. I think this is supposed to help with creasing because I told you guys I have oily skin so that also means I have oily lids like with eyeshadows and everything. Who are some of your favorite uh, makeup gurus on YouTube? Um, because I'm always looking for some. Some of my favorite for the last like year or so has been Face Over Matter. Um, but Recently, I've been really liking uh, Brianna Marie. Like, her makeup is so amazing. She does like really like dramatic makeup. Her makeup is amazing to me. She does a lot of like cool cut creases and all that. Yeah, I've been loving her makeup lately. All right, so I'm gonna take hashtag, which is up here, and I'm gonna use that kinda as my, I'm gonna use that as my transition shade. I use that a lot now because I just like a warmer crease. I'm gonna take this Luxie 205 Tapered Blending Brush and I'm just gonna take some of that color and put it in my crease. And I'm gonna switch to this kind of, I don't know, fluffy brush from Miley Beauty, I think that's what it's called. And I'm just gonna, just kind of make sure those edges are soft. All right, now I'm gonna go in with the Tartlet and Bloom palette. Like, if you watched my recent May favorites, then you saw this palette in there. It's just. It has so many nice neutral colors in it. I don't really venture over into, you know, these two colors over here, but I really like the colors over here. So, um, I, I'm going to take the color Rebel, which is right here, and I'm going to put that below hashtag. And I'm going to use this um, Smoky Eye brush here. It's a dome shape, and it's a little bit more precise. So, I'm going to take that. Going back in the hashtag with the Mally brush and I'm just gonna blend it together. I'm 
I'm gonna switch to that tapered blending brush and put hashtag on top again. I'm gonna put more Rebel in my crease just to darken it up. I'm gonna put leader just in the outer part of my crease using that same using the same brush. Back into hashtag. I'm gonna blend that out. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut my crease. I'm gonna just take my foundation, put it on the back of my hand. And I'm gonna use this flat brush. I actually used it to clean up my eyebrows, but I'm gonna use it to cut my crease as well. Okay, so that has dried down <clears throat> a little bit. So I'm gonna go into my Morphe, Morphe 350 palette and I'm gonna use this orange shade here and I'm gonna just put that on top of the foundation that I just put on my lid. Um, just because it's a very similar color to the glitter that I'm about to put on my, on my lid. I'm gonna take my NYX Glitter Primer and I am gonna just go ahead and put that on top of this eyeshadow. All right, so I'm gonna use the NYX um, Glitter Brilliance in color Copper and I'm gonna put that on top of the glue that we just put down or the glitter primer that we just put down. leader and rebel down here i'm just going to take this i don't know what kind of brush this is but it's small and it's more of a detailed kind of flat brush and um it's from real techniques and i'm just gonna go in there and just clean up anything i'm going to go back into hashtag and just blend the edges out just so it looks has nice transitions and everything. I'm gonna use this brush again, this Mally brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyeliner. I am using the Inglot 77 um, gel liner. I've been using that consistently for a year. And I'm just gonna use this, um, it's a watercolor brush, but it's it's got that fine tip, just like an eyeliner brush would. Um, so, I'm gonna, and when I use this um, gel liner, I always use the Inglot Duraline because mine dries out and I'd like to have um, my stuff have a little bit of liquid to it just to make it easier to apply. I'm gonna use this Wet n Wild Mega Plump Mascara. I don't think it's that great, but I was just in the store and I needed some mascara, so I picked it up. All right, for my lashes, I'm gonna be using Coco Lashes uh, Queen Bee. Now, these are like my second favorite lashes from them. I haven't tried like all of them, but I really like these. Um, I just put in an order for some more lashes from Coco Lashes because they give you such a really nice look um, they're not mink lashes, so they're not, you know, 
I don't know, I just feel weird about mink lashes. And they're inexpensive, so I really like um, Cocoa Lashes. All right, while that is, my lashes are drying, I'm gonna take the NYX uh, Eye Pencil in color SL06 Esmeralda. Uh, it's an emerald green. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye off camera and I will be back. About to put on my LA Girls uh, Pro Conceal Orange Corrector on all of my dark spots on my face. So under my eyes, under my nose, and everywhere else I have dark spots. All right, so I'm gonna be using my Milani uh, two-in-one foundation and concealer in color 09 Tan. Now, I have not used this in a long time, but over the last like two weeks, I've been using it just because um, I've run out of some of my other foundations and I haven't been using this in a long time. And it's, it's a cool foundation, but I'm an oily, I have oily skin and this, like I get oily with this in like, you know, within two hours. So um, yeah, so I wouldn't recommend it for oily skin. LA Girl Pro Conceal in Warm Honey, and I'm gonna put that underneath my eyes. And down the bridge of my nose, on my chin, underneath my nose, and on my forehead. I'm gonna take LA Girl Pro Conceal in Color Chestnut, and I'm gonna use that to contour my face. I'm gonna take my Sasha Buttercup setting powder and set underneath my eyes and everywhere I put the um, concealer. I'm gonna take this LA Colors I Love Makeup Contour Palette. I have been using this for like two years. I'm just like, it's inexpensive and it does the job for me. So I'll, I don't know if I'll ever buy or when I will buy another contour palette. And for the rest of my face, I'm gonna use the Soft Focus uh, Golden Almond Finish Powder from Black Radiance. It's all broken up, so I can't really show you, but I need to get a new one. So I'm gonna just set all the places where I don't have the contour or the highlight. Now I'm gonna dust away all of that setting powder with that same brush. I'm gonna take the NYX Matte Finish uh, Setting Spray and spray it all on my face. And I'm gonna take the Becca um, Shimmering Skin Perfector in color Rose Gold and I'm just gonna use that as my highlighter. And I'm gonna take this uh, I don't know, it's a really like fluffy brush from BH Cosmetics. Now I'm gonna apply my highlighter. I really don't go too far down my, my face because I have really textured skin, especially on my cheek area, and I don't wanna accentuate that too much. On that down just a bit. I think for my lip liner, I'm gonna use the Milani Spice Sand and it is like almost gone. Like, I need a new one and I'll just figure out what lip I wanna go with. I'm not really sure. I just know it's probably gonna be like a, a nude lip. I'm gonna use Lady Love from Real Her and I'll see how that looks. It's like a peachy color.
all right guys so here's the final look and i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment in the comment section um i just want to thank you guys for supporting my channel and tuning in if you would like to see more makeup looks definitely leave your suggestions down below and i'll try to get back to you as quickly as possible thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye guys